Hey everyone, this video is about renaming your brand. Part one, don't do it. So a lot of times clients, prospective clients come to us because they think that they need to rename their brand. And you'd be surprised how often we feel it's the case that they actually shouldn't touch it. And so um, it all has to do, like everything I talk about, with the underlying business strategy. And so if you don't love your name, but you've got some serious equity in it that you would be really squandering by renaming, don't touch it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I talked recently about this example with MailChimp. So MailChimp started out as an email management company and it's been super successful. And so they've grown and grown and they now do a lot of things. And the name MailChimp is actually a little bit limiting, but they're really smart about it. They didn't touch it. They didn't change it. What they do is they play with it, with, with the fact that they are so much more than their name and their advertising, and that's really smart. A similar example, we were talking with a client of ours yesterday who just went through a journey where they seriously considered changing their name. They're a sort of mm, a manufacturing kind of industrial company with a lot of heritage. They were founded in the 1870s, and they've had their current name since the 1940s. You know what? Their name sounds like a name from the 1940s. So a lot of them internally are like, we, we gotta dump this thing. But they did a bunch of research, they thought about it, and as much as they personally don't like it, there was too much good in that name to squander it. And so they're trying to find new ways through their innovation and just being good at their jobs of imbuing that name with more and more uh, equity. And at the same time that they're doing that, they're not gonna lose all the people that have known about them for generations. It's just basic blocking and tackling, you would think. But people get excited about something new and something fresh and actually come up against this way too often. So I just wanted to put my stake in the sand. Don't change your brand name. Part two of this video will be, yeah, change your brand name because there's good times and reasons for doing that too. So you'll have to check that one out as well. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. And in general, if you like the work we're doing, follow me here on LinkedIn, Rebecca Arbona or Brand True. Also, the videos are a series, hashtag tell the truths. We would love to hear from you if you're connecting with the work we do, and especially if you think we could help you out. We love helping brands to succeed more and more. It's what we live for. And we especially help new brands um, get off the ground and with naming. We live for naming. So stay in touch.